Welcome back to the WorkWorks Podcast, where we help athletes reach their ultimate and peak performance on and off the competition uh, fields, floors, gyms, wherever you want to compete at as an athlete. My name is Coach Tony, and today we have a very, very interesting topic. Today we're talking about psychological skills for peak performance in athletes. So, don't go too far. After this message, we're going to come back and get right to the information. So before we jump into this information, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you help me grow my YouTube channel to get information out to more athletes, more coaches, and more people to help them, you know, develop into premier athletes. So if you can like, comment, share with your friends, share with your athletes, share with your coaches, um, that would be greatly appreciated because here on the WorkWorks Podcast, we believe in helping everyone get to the next level. All right, so with that being said, let's jump into the information. So there's a few different um, psychological skills that I, that I, uh, that I learned about. Um, everything, uh, uh, the basis of my research and the basis of my um, podcast and the things that I'm going to be talking about today comes from this book. Uh, applied sports psychology I got this uh, I took a uh, a sports psychology class while I was you know in college and things like that and this book taught me a lot about how to, the way that athletes think and the way that coaches should anticipate their mindset change anticipate what they're doing as far as mentally on and off the uh, uh, playing surface or playing area or whatever you want to call it this is an amazing book as a guy for not only coaches but for athletes to find out about themselves as competitors um, how to give themselves a better uh, uh, advantage as far as you know mindset and belief in yourself and stuff like that so today most mostly everything well the the topics or the skill sets that we're going to talk about today came from this book and then i did a lot of extensive research outside of this book but it all started right here applied sports psychology personal growth and peak performance by john m williams and vicky crane it's the eighth edition so let's jump into the skill set. So first skill set, that uh, psychological skill set that we're going to talk about is imagery. And before we jump into it, let's get the, Im- the definition of imagery down. Imagery is the formation of mental images, figures, or likeness of things or of such images collected. <clears throat> so basically, you're using your imagination to present to bring your desires you know, to the forefront, to imagine the things that you want. You're you're, you're using your imagination um, and the images of your mind to paint a picture. So why is imagery so important for athletes? Well, like I just said, it helps them imagine and it helps them bring their the, the success that they want to have. It helps them bring that to life. That's the first place that that things are created. You look at at people like Mark Zuckerberg or Jeff Bezos or you know what I'm saying. They imagine creating Facebook. He imagined creating uh, Amazon and he just got a plan and worked it. But it first started off in his mind. So if you want to have an MVP season, the first thing you need to do is you need to you need to work that MVP season out of your mind. What does the MVP season look like for you? Get the image in your mind first. Second question is how can athletes use imagery to gain an advantage in their performance? It's simple. Once you see something, it helps you visualize it and go obtain it a lot more. So once you are visualizing the things that you want in your mind and you can see it over and over and over and over and over again, as an athlete, that's going to drive the competitive edge in you because you constantly see, hey, I can become an MVP. Hey, I can become a champion. Hey, I can go get this full ride scholarship to such and such college. Hey, I can be all county, all state, all all, all country and at my position in my specific sport so when you have in when you use your imagination to imagine the things that you want as an athlete then your competition elevates because now you want to achieve the vision that you already have for yourself so another question is what are ways to effectively use imagery as an athlete one good way to effectively use imagery as an athlete is to Master the the art of meditation. Um, we're going to talk about meditation a, a lot 
in this segment, but mastering the art of meditation is so key to um, to effectively using imagery because when you meditate, you can sit back and you can really, really, really use your mind to push yourself to the next level. So imagery is a very, very effective, effective way for athletes to begin their process to psychologically become more as an athlete to elevate themselves as peak to elevate themselves to their peak performance so the next psychological trait we're going to talk about is attentional focus so what is attentional focus intentional focus intentional focus is the process in which athletes use their mental resources to keep their focus on the task at hand like lifting weights or reading a defense uh on fourth and four so you know attentional focus is pretty much um you you focusing on you know a task that's right in front of you you're giving you all of your attention to focusing on you know tackling that person you're giving all your attention to focusing on running that play effectively um you know taking over in the fourth quarter of a fo of a basketball game like steph curry does so many times um uh, uh coming back from 28 to 3 like tom brady has done um in the super bowl um that's attentional focus you see the mission you see exactly what you need to do in the heart of competition when you're right in the thick of things and you focus your mind. You focus all of your energy into going to obtain and get that. How can athletes enhance their ability to focus their attention on the tasks needed to be performed? Well, one way you could do that is like I said before, you could practice meditation and, and, and self-awareness. So what do I mean by self-awareness? Now, a lot of times, you know, when you're competing in the heart of competition, you're thinking a lot. You're doing a lot of thinking. You're doing a lot of, oh, trying to process the situation. Well, when you, when you, when you are able to um, be self-aware and, and bring your mind to a calm and, 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 and get yourself together and focus your attention, attention of focusing, focus your attention to what you want to do, um, it will it, it will help you perform that task a whole lot more effectively or efficiently um, once you are able to to teach your mind how to bring its attention when it's supposed to when it's necessary so what are the benefits of enhancing the skill well the major benefit is being able to lock in when it's time you should always be locked in when you're in competition, but some, in some scenarios, in some time frames, in some cases, you need to be locked in more than others. So being able to have that attentional focus and being able to lock your focus in and really, really, really pinpointing where you need to push your focus at, at the right times is very key and crucial for you as an athlete. The ways uh, athletes can effectively use attentional focus to gain the edge, well, like I, like I pretty much said, you know, when you're in that fourth or fourth situation, you know exactly where the defense is going to go as a quarterback or a receiver or as a lineman. You know exactly where, you know, they're going to be blitzing. You know exactly what type of coverage that cornerback is going to play on you as a receiver and vice versa. If it's fourth and four as a defensive, uh, as a defensive player, you know exactly, you know, you not times out of 10 you know it's going to be a quick route as a cornerback so having that attentional focus can be so uh rewarding when you're an athlete um especially when you're looking in terms of optimizing your performance so the next skill set psychological skill set we're going to talk about is maintaining concentration now concentration is the exclusive attention to a particular thing or event so how can athletes um maintain concentration like i said before literally teaching yourself how to maintain conversation con concentration goes back to practicing the art of meditation because when you are able to you know lock your mind into something for a elongated amount of time maintaining concentration that's what a lot of champions have in common especially in a sport in, in a sport where you know you have five and six and seven game series um maintaining that concentration throughout the series maintaining that concentration um is very key and how you do that is how you are able to get to the other side of or, or elevate as an athlete.
does maintaining concentration give you an edge? Yes, because if you're maintaining concentration and your competitors aren't, aren't, you're going to be able to stay locked in a lot longer. And with you being locked in, you're going to be able to focus, have that attentional focus that we talked about a little, a little earlier. Um, you should always be looking to maintain concentration as an athlete, especially when you're, um, when you're in the competition space. Okay. So maintaining concentration is another way that you can optimize and have peak performance. The one thing that a lot of athletes struggle with, I think is the biggest thing that a lot of athletes struggle with, and I think that's controlling their anxiety. The idea is the stress on uneasiness of the mind caused by fear of danger or misfortune. So why would an athlete have anxiety? Well, it's the fear of danger or misfortune. Let's get to that misfortune. What are athletes so afraid of when it comes to misfortune? Well, if they don't perform well, they won't win. Maybe it could be injury. Some, some, some athletes are afraid to get injured. As you see in like college football now, a lot of athletes are foregoing like bowl season so they don't get injured before them going to the draft. How can athletes control their anxiety? Well, there's a lot of different ways, but I honestly will, I honestly think one way, one great way is to, you know, do some breathing exercises. Um, learn how to breathe when you start to feel anxious. Another great way is talking to someone. So if we're in the heat of battle and we're on our way out there to go compete, uh, for a title or something of that nature, talking to a teammate and saying, listen, bro, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous, man. Like, I got to get this out of my head, this, that, and the third. Communication is key to, you know, helping yourself overcome uh, your anxiety. Another way to help yourself overcome anxiety is to just go out there and perform. Now you get into your element. And once you get into your element, that anxiety sometimes goes away. A lot of the times it does go away because now you're comfortable. Um, you're not thinking about, you know, the elevated stress that this competition or this outcome, if it doesn't go the way that you plan, may bring. You just wanna go out there and you just wanna compete. If an athlete can find a way to control their anxiety and use it for good and not let it overcome them, then that athlete has the power to elevate and reach peak performance. The next one is gonna be positive self-talk. Now this is pretty simple. Um, positive self-talk is the ability to make yourself feel good about yourself at any time. So if, 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 if we're getting to the heat of battle, if we're getting ready to go out for, you know, a championship game or the first game of the season or things like that, talking to yourself, hey, I was saying things like affirmations like, I am great. I am able to perform. Today I will be an MVP. To this season is my season to shine. I will get my scholarship this season. I am going to uh, dominate this game and score 40 points. Telling yourself that you are able to do the things that you're setting yourself to do only enhances your ability mentally to go out there and perform the task. Sport. Every single day, you should be giving yourself affirmations. Every day, you should be telling yourself that I am this. I am great. I can do this. I can accomplish this feat um, in my sport. Once you're able to start believing the self-talk that you're giving yourself, then you're on. You're going to be able to start performing based off the self-talk that you're giving yourself. If that makes any sense. Positive self-talk is very big and it, and it helps a lot of athletes. Um, if you've never tried positive self-talk after you watch this video, um, leave a comment, contact me today so we can talk about certain affirmations um, that you can use for yourself to optimize peak performance. Goal setting. So goal setting is the ability to create a plan to acquire your desires and achieve those goals. So when you're setting goals, what you're doing is you're creating a plan to manufacture the images that you had in your mind. Goal setting helps you to iron out everything. Goal setting helps you to bring the, the image imagination from mind to paper. Here's the thing. As an athlete, you don't have to just have athletic goals, if that makes sense. So a lot of the time, a lot of the times when athletes get wrapped up in setting goals, it's always I need the setting goals for you know becoming a better athlete. 
But as an athlete, you should also be thinking about becoming a better person. Okay, the athletes that are able to stay, stay disciplined with their goals are going to go further because they're going to chase more. They're going to be more susceptible and more likely to go out and work a little bit harder or in most cases a lot harder because they already have a clear vision of what they want not only their life to be their season to be so goal setting is incredible for athletes when they're looking to optimize peak performance so that's all we got today on the workworks podcast i hope that information was helpful for, helpful to you i hope you were able to take away um different things to help you, you know, become a better athlete. Um, maybe you've seen something or heard something that triggered you to say, oh yeah, I do that. Oh yeah, I can use that. That can help. My name is Coach Tony, and this is the Work Works Podcast. Remember, when you conquer the day, you conquer your life, and we'll see you at the top because there's no place better. God bless, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.